chapter 8 test for numbers 1a through 1c choose yes or no to indicate whether the given value of the variable is a solution of the equation 1a says 2 fifths b equals 10 where b equals 25 so you're going to need to put two-fifths times 25 over 1, which equals 50 over 5. 50 divided by 5 is 10. So that one would be yes. For 1B, we have n plus 5 equals 15, where n equals 5. So 5 plus 5 does not equal 15. It equals 10. So that would be no. One C says 5Z equals 25, where Z equals 5, which means 5 times 5. 25, and that is true, so you would have yes. Number two. The distance from third base to home plate is about 88 and 9 tenths feet. Romeo was 22 and 1 tenth feet away from third base when he was tagged out. The equation of 88 and 9 tenths minus t equals 22 and 1 tenth can be used to determine how far he needed to run to, get to home plate. Using sub substitution, the coach determined that Romeo needed to run, and it gives you three options for to get to home plate. So let's go ahead and solve this. We have 88 and 9 tenths minus t equals 20. Well, we don't want a negative t. We want t alone, but we don't want it negative. So we're going to add t to both sides first. So we have 88 and 9 tenths equals 20 to 1 tenth plus t. Now we need to get the t alone, so we're going to take 22 and 1 tenth from each side. So we have t equals... Six, sixty-six and eight tenths. Please be sure to slow this down. You're watching. There are eighty-four grapes in the bag. Four friends are sharing the grapes. Write an equation that could be used to find out how many grapes G each friend will get if each friend gets the same number of grapes. So there are two options that you could have here. You could have 4G equals 84, because the four friends are sharing the grapes and there are 84 grapes total. Or you can have 84 divided by four, because they have those 84 and then they're splitting them up into four different groups. Match each scenario with <clears throat> the equation that can be used to solve it. Jane's dog eats three pounds of dog food a week. How many weeks will a 24 pound dog food last? So three pounds a week, 24 pound bag will last. That means three times X equals 24. There are 39 students in the gym and there are an equal number of students in each class. If three students or if three classes are in the gym, how many students are in each class? So that would be 3 times x equals 39. There's 39 total, three classes, we don't know how many students. There are four games at the carnival. Kevin played all the games in 24 minutes. How many minutes did he spend at each game if he spent an equal amount at each time? That would be 4x equals 24 four games. We don't know how many minutes he spent in each, but he's played all of them in 24. So that would be your total.
Frank's hockey team attempted 15 more goals than Spencer's team. Frank's team attempted 23 goals. Write and solve an equation that can be used to find out how many goals Spencer's team attempted. So, we have Spencer's team plus 15 because Frank's team attempted 15 more goals than Spencer's and we know that Frank's team attempted 23. There are a couple different ways you could write that. Now we're going to solve that. S plus 15 equals 23. So we're going to subtract 15 from both sides. So we get S alone. S equals 8. There is your equation, which means 8 goals would be how many? Okay, this one you should be writing quite a bit, so I'm just going to talk you through it and uh, you have to rewind it if you need to know exactly what I'm saying. So Ryan solved the equation 10 plus y equals 17 by drawing a model. Use numbers and words to explain how Ryan's model can be used to find the solution. So he put y right here, so this is his y, then 10. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he has y plus 10 on the left side of that equal sign. On the right side, he has 17. Okay? So that's how he originally drew that model. And then he crosses off 10 squares on each side, which is what you see him doing here. He crosses 10 off on this side and 10 off on this side which leaves him with the final of y equals 7. So you need to put that door in. So Ryan drew a rectangle to represent y and 10 squares to represent plus 10 on the left side of the equal sign. On the other side, he drew 17 squares to represent 17. Then he crossed off 10 squares on each side to get y by itself. This left him with the rectangle and 7 squares on the right. The solution is y equals 7. Gabriella and Max worked on their math project for a total of 6 hours. Max worked on the project for 2 hours by himself. Solve the equation x plus 2 equals 6 to find out how many hours Gabriella worked on the project. So we have x plus 2 equals 6. We need to get x by itself, so we're going to subtract 2. So x equals 4, which means 4 hours. Select the equations that have a solution m equals 17. Mark all that apply. So the first one we have 3 plus 17 equals 21. 3 plus 17 is 20. So 20 does not equal 21. So that one is not an answer. Then we have 17 minus 2 equals 20. Or sorry, not 21. 17 minus 2 equals 15. 17 two minus 2 is 15. So 15 equals 15. That is the solution. C is 14 equals 17 minus 3. 14 equals 17 minus 3 is 14, which means that that one is also a solution. 2 equals 17 minus 15. 2 equals 2, so that one is a solution as well. Okay, this one is... Describe how you 
could use algebra tiles to model the equation 4x equals 20. Okay, so you can draw it out to the side, but it says to describe, not to draw. So if you have 4x here equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's how I would model that. That is not my answer. I have to now put that into words. So I would place four X tiles on one side of the equal sign and 20 tiles on the other side in four equal rows. For numbers 10a through d, choose yes or no to indicate whether the equation has a solution of x equals 12. So a, we have 3 fourths times x, which is 12 over 1, equals 9. 3 times 12 is 36. 4 times 1 is 4, equals 9. 9 equals 9. So yes, that is a solution. Because we had to think it 36 divided by 4 would be equal 9. x is 3 times 12 equals 36. 3 times 12 does equal 36. So that would also be a yes. C is 5x equals 70, which is 5 times 12. 70. 5 times 12 is 60, which does not equal 70. So that one would be no. And D, we have x over, oops, x over 3 equals 4, which is 12 over 3 equals 4. 12 divided by 3 is 4, which does equal Four, so this one would also be yes. Brian rides the bus to and from work on days he works at the library. I own, oh, <laughs> in one month. Sorry, I don't have space on this computer. In one month, he rode the bus 24 times. <laughs> Solve the equation 2x equals 24 to find the number of days Brian went to the library. Use a model. Okay. So we have 1, 2, that's 2x equals 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, which means that 1x equals 12. 
So since there are two rectangles, the squares needed to be split into two equal groups. When you split 24 squares into two equal groups, there are 12 squares in each group. So x equals 12. So Brian worked at the library 12 days during one month. Number 12. Betty needs three-fourths of a yard of fabric to make a skirt. She bought nine yards of fabric. Write and solve an equation to find how many skirts X she can make of nine yards of fabric. So three fourths of so three fourths X equals nine yards because she bought a total of nine yards. So to make this a simpler equation, I'm going to multiply both sides by four, which gets rid of my fraction. So now I have 3x equals 4 times 9 is 36. From here, I need to divide to get the x alone, so I'm dividing by 3. So x equals 36 divided by 3 is 12. So that means she can make 12 skirts. Part B says, explain how you determined which operation was needed to write the equation. Okay, I'm just going to talk through this because I don't want to write it all down. You can't read my writing on here usually. Anyways, so what you should have is something along the lines that if each skirt needs three-fourths of a yard of fabric, then you would multiply three-fourths by the number of skirts to find out how much fabric is needed. Since Betty has nine yards of fabric, three-fourths times x must equal nine. So I'm going to say that one more time. If each skirt needs three-fourths of a yard of fabric, then you would multiply three-fourths by the number of skirts to find out how much fabric is needed. Since Betty has nine yards of fabric, three-fourths times x, and x must equal nine. All right, looking at 13. Karen is working on her math homework. She solves the equation b over eight equals 56 and says that the solution, B, is 7. Do you agree or disagree with Karen? Use words and numbers to support your answer. If her answer is incorrect, then find the correct answer. So I'm going to solve this first. So I have, she thinks that B over 8 is going to be, B is 7 for 56. If I multiply both these by 8, it gets rid of my fractions. Now I have b equals, so then 56 times 8 is going to be 448. So it is 448 instead of 7. So I disagree. I disagree with Karen. The equation is a division equation, okay, so this is things that you should be using to use words and numbers is what I'm going to read right now. The equation is a division equation that can be read as b divided by 8 is equal to 56. Karen solved it as if the equation were 8 times b equals 56. The correct way to solve would be to multiply both sides of the equation by 8. Um, so that you get rid of the denominator, so you just have b equals 50, um, b equals 56 times 8, so then b would be 448. So please put that into your own words. There are 70 historical fiction books in the school library. Historical fiction books make up one-tenth of the library's com collection. The equation one-tenth B equals 70 can be used 
to find out how many books the library has. Solve the equation to find the total number of books in the library's collection. Use numbers and words to explain one tenth B equals 70. Again, this is great practice for ISEP and how we have to show our work without using words. So I'm going to use my words. I'm not going to write them down again because you're not going to be able to read them in this small space. But you should write something along the way, lines of when solving an equation with fractions, first multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator. So you have an equation that has whole numbers. So when you solve this, you're going to have one tenth b equals 70. You're going to multiply both sides by 10 so that we get rid of that. So now you have b equals 700. So you multiply both sides by the denominator, so the equation has only whole numbers. And then when you multiply the other side, you get just b alone equals 700. So there are 700 books. Andy drove 33 miles on Monday morning. This was three-sevenths of the total number of miles he drove on Monday. Solve the equation, three-sevenths in equals 33 to find the total number of miles Andy drove on Monday. So if we have three-sevenths in equals 33, I'm going to multiply both sides by 7 so that I get rid of this, so that I have 3 in equals 33 times 7. So 3m is 231, divide both those sides by 3, so I have m equals 7 minus 7m equals 77, so 77 miles. maximum number of players allowed on a lacrosse team is 23. The inequality T is less than or equal to 23 represents the total number of players T allowed on the team. Two possible solutions for the inequality are 23 because 23 is equal to 23 and T can be less than or equal to and then it would also be 22 because 22 is the only number in that row that is less than 23. And number 17, Mr. Charles needs to have at least 10 students to sign up for the homework help in order to use the computer lab. The inequality H is greater than or equal to 10 represents the number of students H who must sign up. Select possible solutions to inequality. So 7 is not less than 10, so it can't be that, or not greater than 10. 8 is not greater than 10 or equal to. 9 is not greater than or equal to. 10 is equal to. 11 is greater than and 12 is greater than. So your answer would be D, E, and F. The maximum capacity of the school auditorium is 420 people. Write an inequality for the situation. Tell what type of numbers the variable in the inequality can represent. So maximum capacity is my first hint. And that is 420 people. So I know that they can have 420 people or less. So C is going to be less than or equal to 420. And you can use whatever variable you want uh, because it doesn't specify what you need to use. And I know that C is a whole number because we're talking about people and you wouldn't have just half of a person. So it has to be a whole number. Number 19, match the inequality to the word sentence represents. So I'm going to look over here. So the temperature did not drop below 70 degrees. 
which means that I know that it is going to be greater than or equal to 70 degrees. Dane saved more than $70. So I know that this one is that y is greater than 70. Fewer than 70 people attended the game. So fewer than it must be less than. And no more than 70 people, which means less than or equal to 70. Last problem, which is going to do part A and part B. Sydney graphed the inequality. D is less than or equal to 14. So she has 14 and she drew the arrow to the left. Part A says Dylan said that 14 is not a solution of the inequality. Do you agree or disagree with Dylan? Use numbers or words to support your answer. Okay. I disagree. with Dylan. Now I have to support that. I disagree because um, since the circle is filled in fourteen is part of the solution. <coughs> If 14 was not a solution, that would be an open circle instead of a closed circle. And part B. Suppose Sydney's graph had an empty circle at circle 14, right? The inequality represented by this graph. So it kind of just hinted on it. But if that was an open circle up there on that graph, then D would have to be less than 14. It could not be equal to. It would just be less than 